Okay, there's things right here. These are not red poop. This is coffee because I saw an article. I think it is an article. No, it was a video. My husband, Joad, sent me a video about how to address this end situation. I mean, it's not bad now. I just saw a few of them wandering around, but that's just the beginning. So, I want to nip it in the bud. And one of the tip was is to have some coffee. They don't like coffee. So, these poop looking things are <laughs> coffee beans. <laughs> they always come in the worst moment. I supposed to be get ready <laughs> because we are about to celebrate one of the boys friends birthday. So I should be get ready for that. But no, I have to deal with the ants. What helps me so much when I need to get ready for and time that I prepare everything that I possibly can way before we have to go. So that means I packed the snacks, I wrapped the present and I have this separate snack just for in the car ride. So when we go home and everybody's cranky, I have an extra snack and I will put aside everything and then I can continue to work whatever I need to do because I know everything is in the car. If I forget about the time, I can just jump in the car with the kids and we can leave. Because it's really hard to clean with the coffee beans all over the shelf I figured that I have these paper tea bags that I ordered on the summer because I like to prepare teas for my friend as a gift so I'm just going to use those paper bags to put the coffee beans in there so it's gonna be easier to just put it on the shelf and remove it when I want to clean it office and this is our new solution <laughs> for the food so as our boys are getting bigger and older we need more food let alone what 2020 is all about <laughs> i'm going to quickly go through the food and i'm going to share some tips what i figured out in the process and one of the main thing that i had to come to realize to have a pantry that I can rely on is to have a realistic estimate how much we eat and then we're gonna go to the juicy one <laughs> on the bottom with the extra stuff Thank you. 
I'm really not a big fan of huge boxes and bins, but I have some fluffy items like bagged chips and tortillas and bagged fluffy cookies so those are great together in the bin and i i can easily locate everything in there but the rest of the area i like to use mostly jars and i like that method because i get to see the food so i'm more thinking about what to create out of those food ingredients instead of the box uh, telling me with <laughs> a very specific design hey this is a red box pay attention to me so the food speaks for itself as I'm looking at them and also I see the amount how much I have because those packages that are uh, they putting the food in most of the time it's very tricky they seem bigger and more especially with pasta like when I filled up this jar that I have I had to use like 10 of those uh, pasta boxes and I thought I have a lot but now I put it in the jar I have a better idea how much I exactly have Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to create a list with the food that I want to use up fast. That would be, the first one is potato. <laughs> it's definitely something. So I will put all the ingredients here that I see I need to use up. So mainly these are the staples that I like to keep as a backup because I'm trying to simplify my recipes, the meaning of I like to keep the things that I can make more variety. You can create tons of things, not tons of, but hundreds of things with the most simple stuff. And the butter is dying. Okay, I'm back at this project again because <laughs> yesterday, um, Today I am going to continue with the, should I say declutter, I just want to come through what I have and all the things that I think I can be without, I'm just going to put it in a basket and I'm going to use them up. That's going to encourage me to keep continue the simple pantry or I say capsule pantry. So things like that, like I've got this one, the cassava flour. This is basically almost the same as the tapioca starch, which I use in lots of the recipes. So I'm not going to purchase this one again because the tapioca starch will do the same job. So once I use this up, I'm just going to have the tapioca starch. And also I like to stock up for Christmas cooking and baking around this time that way I get to enjoy the season even more because I don't have to worry about these things so I got a bunch of jam usually around this time of the year I have way more things in my pantry than during the year
want to talk about one of the common mistakes and question that I get what can I do with the leftover that doesn't fit in the jar well my simple answer to that is buy a bigger jar <laughs> I went to the same mistake I had a smaller jars because that was the average size and I always ended up with some leftover which I used up right away but still it was a pain to work on and I just made it just made me realize why am I thinking only in a small size like there's no rule that we have to fill up the jar all the way all the time I mean it's only full for a little short while because as we start to use that it will have less and less in there it's not for that kind of display to have a full jar but is for the purpose to store something in there so the meaning of that instead of having a small jar full most of the time because we always keep refilling it just having a bigger jar and be able to fit in there the amount that we realistically use so to me the key was this huge gallon size jar finally i'm able to fit all the food in there that i wanted to the other thing that helps me to maintain this more organized look in the pantry is to ditch the big boxes i mean i do have four of them for the alike items but for the itty bitty things that are smaller I use a shallow one because the shallow box is still keep them together and categorize them like sweet stuff like gems and honey and all the baking stuff and you can create another one for different purpose but it holds it together yet you still seeing it because it's a shallow one it's not deep to cover and hide everything the biggest help was for me to create a very basic simple pantry is to simplifying my recipes that's where it starts to have a simple recipe and having more variety of the same ingredients So I've got some heavy stuff down there, some sparkling water and some tomato sauce and all the canned goods that I can use right away. I have some rice down there. I have all the flowers. So this chef is designated just for the flowers. Now I can see through what I have. So finally it's organized because I just tossed everything in here when we created this area. Let me show you what I ended up with, you know, the trashy part. <laughs> so these are all came out from the pantry area so i'm going to fill this into a jar and this one and this one as well this is some rice that i'm going to put into the bigger jar down there this is something that i use on the daily basis this is the everyday spices i no longer keep food in this drawer but i have pantry items down here and that would be something that i use every single day hand and all the grease that i like to use when i cook so this is the basic when i cook or bake okay so i'm going to use this one up i love this so much and i'm going to add some kale powder to go with that and some nutritional yeast okay over here these are the mistakes so i already have two or three actually three kinds of beans at home so I shouldn't have bought this one we're going to use it up anyway but I'm going to keep it in mind that I'm not going to buy another kind until we used up what we already have this was another mistake I went to Marshall's and I always check out their food they had some gluten-free pasta one thing it was a, oh it was TJ Maxx 
uh, it wasn't really super yummy it wasn't bad but nothing unique but I already have some pasta that I can store on those big jars so this tiny amount is nothing I can do with the, this I mean I don't know where to store it I don't know how to use it so I'm just going to cook this one and just do the same thing with the kale powder but this is something i'm not going to purchase ever again i got some juniper berries this is fun i got it for a project but you know i barely have any time to do a lot of extra projects so i should buy this next time when i know exactly what i want to do with that now i have to do the research and use it up this is a perfect example of what i shouldn't do when i have a simplified pantry so I bought this one to make a pesto but you know what guys I've been using cashew and it worked out perfectly just as fine so I know that is a because for that but cashew can work so this is a perfect example when I can just use something that I already have home and it's close enough to work with that this one is the messiest pile but I have my system here <laughs> This is another thing that I'm going to use up and these are all dried fruits and raisins and some walnut butter and things like that. So this is meant to be when I was into making bars. So I made a bunch of bars so this is the leftover. So now I'm going to make um, enough bar to make this whole pile disappear. <laughs> okay guys, so this was for today for the pantry organizing which I didn't know I will end up with. <laughs> Thanks to the ants. And if you have a family member or friends who would benefit from this video, then you can share this with them and that would help my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!